Okay, three, two. Hi everybody, I'm Donna Terrell in the Fox 16 studio and I'm here talking about something that happened in Pine Bluff last night. A seven year old girl grazed by two bullets. Certainly it's a very disturbing situation, an innocent bystander. We have Mitch McCoy who's in Pine Bluff. He's been talking with the little girl's grandfather who was actually in the car with her when this happened. Um, Mitch, I think I'm going to let you kind of describe, give us a little background on how this all evolved. Yeah, hey, hello, Donna, and, and hello to the Fox16.com viewers. We were uh, actually at this intersection last night covering the story as breaking news at 9 o'clock last night. The shooting happened right here at this intersection. It's 28th uh, Avenue and Catapella Street. Uh, if you're familiar with this area, it's right near Hall Eye Care Center. You have the Hardys right across the street. We're actually staged up here in the Wendy's parking lot. We were told that the grandfather, his name's Emmanuel Davis picked up his seven year old granddaughter from gymnastics practice last night around seven o'clock, made his way over here to 28th Avenue. And at some point while he was stopped here at this intersection, there was gunfire in a completely different car. That gunfire ultimately hit his car parked here at the intersection and multiple bullets actually hit his car three of those bullets went right through the back passenger uh, driver's side window, which is where the uh, seven year old granddaughter was sitting. Two of those three bullets actually grazed that uh, seven year old uh, uh, second grader. And then one of the bullets actually hit right above the driver's side door. So depending on you know which seat you're taking here, a couple centimeters, according to this grandfather, higher or lower, you could have had a completely different outcome than what we saw here last night. Have you been able to actually see the, uh, the seven-year-old girl, Mr. Davis's granddaughter? Have, were you able to see her and talk to her today? I was not. Uh, the family, uh, as you can certainly imagine, is, is they're just they're they're very uh, shook right now. The uh, uh, second grader, uh, we're told, uh, possibly went back to school today. The family uh, trying to guard her from uh, what she experienced last night. Uh, you know, and it's worth mentioning. And, and the grandfather told me here uh, today in our interview. That that girl, that little girl, didn't even cry uh, after this happened. Uh, the grandfather, Emmanuel, said that the only time that she did cry was when uh, she was in the hospital and her grandfather left the emergency room mm. to go speak with detectives and she started crying, wanting her grandfather with her. And obviously he went back in to, to comfort her, but uh, a very strong seven-year-old girl and we're told by Pine Bluff police that the gunfire that originated from that uh, car that I mentioned earlier uh, was related to an argument of some kind and we're told that the gunfire started inside the car mm -hmm. the passenger of that car jumped out and shots were still being fired and that is when uh, that man that jumped out of the suspect's car was hit in the hand he suffered extensive damage and then obviously multiple bullets hitting right. Emmanuel's car. You know, I'm wondering what Emmanuel Davis is saying about that particular incident because, you know, we have reported certainly happening in Little Rock where children end up the victims of gunfire. And, you know, we know we both know of two fatal cases, but this young girl was very, very lucky in that she was not actually, you know, the bullets grazed her. But I I'm wondering what Mr. Davis is saying in terms of this kind of random violence. Yeah, he said that he never would have expected it. Uh, this is something that, that he's been doing for a couple months. Apparently, uh, the seven-year-old's uh, mother is, is quite sick. She's in the hospital. Uh, and so the grandfather has been picking uh, the second grader up for a few weeks now from gymnastics, picking her up from school, dropping her off at school. He said, Mitch, I never would have imagined. Mm. He goes, I do everything that I can to protect my granddaughter, but 
this is something that he just could not have prevented. And we've seen that, Donna, as you mentioned, in several other cases that we've both covered uh, in terms of random, uh, incredible, uh, vicious acts of violence uh, against children. Mm -hmm. it, you know, these parents in all these cases doing everything they can to protect their, their grandkids or their kids. And somehow um, they, they end up at the wrong place right. at the wrong time. In, in the video, and we're going to show it to you uh, in our newscast and, of course, on our website as well, when you see how many times uh, the bullets hit that glass window, I mean, it, it really shows you how close of a call this yeah. was you know what and the daughter sits in the middle of the back seat and the grandfather said that may have actually saved her life wow oh my goodness you know i i think a lot of people i'm gonna let you go because you need to prepare for fox 16 news at 5 30 as well as nine o'clock but you know i think a lot of people worry about acts such as this when we talk about these random acts you know, you can just be driving along an innocent bystander and you get somebody who wants to just start shooting at someone else and gunfire can hit you and boom, just like that, it's over. Well, and as you mentioned, I mean, this is this is one of the reasons why Fox 16 started victory over violence, specifically after those two toddlers up in Little Rock were killed. And so this definitely uh, shakes people to their core. And when you you know talk a little bit about victory over violence, this is Pine Bluff. This is this is not something that uh, you know victory over violence has come here before. And so victory over violence is preparing to come to buy uh, Pine Bluff in just a few weeks. And to imagine that, you know, Victor over violence will be here in just a few weeks yeah. uh, right after this yeah. uh, is really is really chilling to think. I know. And certainly we were all thinking that um, victory over violence. You mentioned that it's October 27th. We don't have a start time or a location right now, but we certainly will be getting that information to you as soon as we get it. We're still a month out, so we have some time. But anyway, Mitchell, um, thank you for the update. I'm looking forward to seeing your story. I especially look forward to seeing this car. Um, it's chilling to think that it was shot so many times as you described or shot at. Um, but we will certainly see that. And I think it's a blessing that this little girl was able to get up today and go to school. All right, Mitch McCoy and Pine Bluff. We will have more on that story and many more coming up tonight on Fox 16 News at 530 and 9. We hope you'll join us. I'm Donna Terrell. I'll see you later.